for those input and output properties, you will be asked to define either variables or arguments. But what is the difference between those two? So arguments are fine depending where the process is being run. So for instance, regarding the file path, depending if the process will be run on my device or my colleague device, you will have a different value. So for that, you will define it as an argument. Because once you prototype the process, you would need to publish it to RPA management, so the multi-tenant cloud component of RPA, to be able to execute the flow in an unattended uh, mode. And uh, for once you publish it, those arguments which you define here, those you will be allowed to change. The variables, on the other hand, those are those um, input and output, I would say, dynamic data, which will be exchanged between the activities within your RPA process. And those are... Uh, variable values will only exist inside of the RPA process which is being run. 